Tell the people to say what's up. Say what's up. She busy right now, y'all. <laughs> so what's up? What's going on, y'all? Just working another edition of Ty's Take. Today, uh, I'm going to show you something a little different. Uh, just ordered this in. This is the unit and radar detector. So I've had my fair share of these. My my whole family has had their fair share of these. And uh, especially me and my brothers, especially my next to older, older brother, believe in these things. And, and I'm, I'm going to be honest. Now, you got some out there that's like, you got the escorts and some of the other ones that's like full 500 bucks. Uh, me, I've never bought one that expensive. I've had Cobra, I've had Whistler, I've had Uniden, and I've had um, it, was some, it was some weird name, man. But I think the highest one I ever paid for was like a hundred and sixty dollars, and that's because it at the time, long time ago, it talks, like it actually voice out what was you know what radar was picking you up when you was riding on the road but and my brother's the same way i don't think he ever spent no more than about 80 for his but uh on the real you don't need a 500 dollars escort to have a good radar detector and, I, and i've seen guys go into um radio shack and radio world and these other places and they you know, the salesman be like, yeah, you need this one. It's 500 bucks and we can hide it in your your grill and blah, 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 blah. And, man, you don't need that. You, that's just my opinion. Now, uh, a real good one, I will say, uh, that's uh, that's got frequencies in it that actually won't read everything that you're around. Because some of the cheap, cheap, cheap ones tend to like if you're at a store and the store's got you know, electronic doors, sliding doors, it'll read that. If you're around a house and somebody's using a microwave, it'll read that. If you're in a car and the car next to you has got the same, you know, or radar detector as well, it'll read that. So you do want to spend a little money because you got some cheap, cheap ones out there, you know, $20, $30, but yeah, you ain't got to go that cheap, man. But out of all the ones I ever bought, I must say the Uniden has always been the one that lasts the longest on me. I think the next one that I had after that was uh, I it was a it was a Cobra was the one that talked, and it lasted a good little while, and then the speaker went out. <laughs> they didn't, didn't talk anymore. <laughs> yeah, it didn't talk anymore. Only thing it did was flash. So, uh, I, I you know what I mean? And I'm gonna be honest, man. I'm a gadget head, so I'm one of those guys that's a sucker for ringing nice colorful screens and ringing bells and talking this and talking that but i'm a i'm a lot older now and honestly man the one the unit that i had it didn't talk it just basically was xkka and laser and that thing man i had that thing probably damn probably over five years and i haven't real talk no lie Never got a ticket with that radar detector, and I'm gonna and I'm and I'm, I'm gonna say this: the company I drive eighteen wheelers now, the company that I drive for, are super super strict when it comes down to having any violations on your record. You can't have you can't have multiple speeding tickets. Or an accident to drive for this company that I drive for. For number one, we haul, you know, heavy, heavy hazmat. Hazmat stands for hazardous materials. Poisons, flammables, explosives. That's what I do on my main job. And with that being said, they do not play when it comes down to your driving record. You got anything on your record? You don't you don't mess around and got an accident, or you got too many speeding tickets, especially if it's a high dollar speeding ticket, or it's a serious violation, which is you're speeding in a school zone or construction zone, you are fired. 
That's a simple, and that's real talk. You are terminated. So, I, I am a serious strickler of keeping my driving record clean. And I drive, we ride this. And I got sports cars and everything else. And and you talking to a guy to a guy that used to do my thing on the interstate, you know, st- street racing things like that back in my heyday, my early days. But I've always had this thing, or my partners has always had this thing, and never given a guy a ticket. So now fast forward to now, and I'm a lot, lot, lot older. Um. Uh, I've been obeying the speed limit very, very well, and I still haven't gotten a ticket yet. And I haven't had one of these in my truck, okay? But I said to myself, because the one that I had, it finally clocked out. And I've had one for years, and what it was when I finally moved, when I got married and I moved up here where I'm at now, um, I lost the cord to it, so I never did put it in the truck. So I've been driving super careful up and down the road. And... By the grace of, by, you know, with the Lord's will, I haven't had a ticket. You know, just obeying the law, just not driving stupid on the, on the interstate. That's basically how you keep yourself out of getting a ticket. This right here is not going to totally, you know, guarantee you not getting a ticket. Because, you know, my experience on the, on the interstate is state troopers are very, very smart. They know you got these things in the car. They know that. So they set themselves up in ways where I'm going to tell you one thing that we say on our bikes, like that's the most powerful, that's, that's the X-14 is one of the, one of the one at the time was the most powerful production bike made. It's a 1400 CC. Even with me riding that full throttle, I still can't beat the radio. Let me say that again. You still cannot beat the radio. So if you blow him by one state trooper, I promise you, by the time he's already seen you zoom by, the state trooper of the road is already got is already on you. He's already set up and on the interstate waiting on you, or he's already crossed the median waiting on you to blow by. So you will never beat the radio. I don't care how expensive you buy these, or what you drive, or how fast you go. I don't care if you got. This is the X1400 bike here. Or a Hellcat or whatever. And a Hellcat can't outrun a cop. It's, I, there's actually a video out there of a Hellcat outrunning a, the helicopter. But he got caught. <laughs> you know, they they got your tag, you're done. So I'm telling everybody who is watching this video, don't buy this. I'm not telling you to buy this to break the law. I'm just telling you that you can have this to help you know where they're at so you won't accidentally go over the speed limit and catch a high dollar ticket. That's what I use mine for. It's an aid. It's a guide. All right? It's a guide. So I'm just going to put that out there. And that's real talk. I would... I, being as old as I am, I would never get on this channel or any other platform and tell you guys any of you guys are doing wrong. I don't care how old you are, you're young or old. This is not a a thing to speed, all right? Because especially if you got my career when you driving eighteen wheelers or anything in transport, train, bus, whatever, your your job is in jeopardy because you get tickets. All right, Any, anybody that's in transport like I am. Okay, so with that being said, I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. But with that being said, yeah, I got me one of these. Just got it in. Just came in today. And we're going to crack this one. This is the Uniden uh, DFRY, DFRI, long range, uh, XKK and laser. Uh, Radar detector. So, we're going to crack this thing up. I'm going to let you see it. See what it looks like. And, yeah. All right, let's get to it. Okay, guys. Y'all remember Bella? Bella remembers y'all, for real. <laughs> Ain't that right, Bella? Say hello to your people. Say hello to your fans. Okay, so anyway. Okay, so when I take this when I took this thing out of the box, all right, this is what you get. You get the 
two suction cups and this little piece here. And then you get the, the unit in, actual unit itself, all right? So basically all you do is gonna come just like this. So you take these suction cups and you're gonna put it inside that loop. Put that, take that suction cup, you're gonna put it inside that loop, right? Then you're gonna take this and you see, you see right back here, that little slot there, you're gonna take, uh oh, you're gonna take this part and slide it in that slot, all right? Just like this here. So, cause this is the this is the kind this is the one that designed to go into your on your window. And trust me, guys, you were like, well, that's gonna it's not gonna stay up there. Yes, it is. These these things really suck to your window. What helps too is just you know put a little moisture right there, not a whole lot, just a little bit, just a tad bit dab, right in there, right in there. Like bend these cups like that, just a little bit. Like bend it like that, and then put a little dab, a little yo moisture right there, and then stuck it, stick it up there, and stuck. Okay, so anyway, this is the unit, all right. And you got your city, your mute, and your dim, all right. And this is what it looks like when it turns on. Okay, so as soon as I get this thing and stop fumbling with it, <laughs> all right. So turn this on. Just like that, all right. And so when you see a when you see a uh, when you're in a city, right? You're just gonna hit city, and that C C's, that C is gonna come up there. This one here's got a feature where it can do city and highway. So when you're doing on the highway, you hit that and that little orange mark there. That's highway. All right, now it's fully highway. All right, so that's city. City highway, fully highway. You got it? So when it's on fully highway, it's supposed to, you know, it's supposed to reach out a little further to try to see if, it, you know, scan a little harder, just for say. And then in the city, what that does is it helps kind of blocks false readings. Like, you know, like, uh, you know, like electronic doors at, at gas stations, things like that, hospitals, people that's got a microwave, whatever, whatever, you know what I mean? So that's what helps do that. So normally what I do, I just kind of leave mine on city highway. So that way I can jump on the highway, jump on the city. If I'm really traveling, then I go fully highway like that, right? All right. And then some some of them depend on which one you get. This is just this particular one. Uh, will have, you know, different reading, but it all means the same. And then your mute is, if you don't want that noise, you just hit the mute. And then dim is just, you know, you just want to dim it out. Just like that, right? All right. You want to kind of like you're at nighttime and you want to dim it out. This is a good way to do it, you know. So this is how you do that. So anyway, but that's basically it. And then this is your volume on your side. And this right here is how you, you know, this is just basically the reason. So have, don't have it, don't have it sitting anywhere where it's in the way, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Have it sitting somewhere where this is like clear. So like in the front glass or anything like that. So yeah, this is it. So this is the unit. And, I, and I've had unit ins before. Unit in is a real I've had unit ins, I've had Cobras. I've had Whistlers. Uh, I've never had a Valentine. I had a partner of mine back in my old street racing days. I had a Valentine. And now if you got the big bus, your wallet is that big. And you want to pay $400 for one. I'm not going to front. The Valentine works. I mean, the Val and the Valentine is so sophisticated that it's got an arrow to tell you exactly where you're getting red from. Because I'm not going to lie. We knew, you know, you kind of knew where that, you know, what was what around you for a good minute, hot minute before we even seen it. But like I said, man, this is not a green light for you to go speed, man. So I'm I'm just gonna put that out there. All right? I'm not telling nobody you can speed with this. I'm not telling I'm not telling nobody this right here will prevent you from having a ticket. This is just to help you. You know what I mean? Keep your speed in check. All right. So anyway, this is the unit, in, radar detector unit, and I'm gonna tell you something. I I love it. That right there is also like a camera that goes for that. So that helps read like because it reads 360 
60 degrees. It reads all the way around. So, you know, uh, I love this thing, man. I do. I recommend it. I highly recommend it. Uh, if you guys got any questions, hit my channel up. Uh, like I said, it's, there's not much to these things. It's just basically just self-explanatory. And uh, like I said, this thing get the beeping, man. You better slow your ass down. <laughs> or, you know, just, you know, just keep yourself in the speed limit, making sure, making sure you are in the speed limit. It's right here, do it. Ain't it right, Bella? All right? Say, say, Bella, I'll tell you, hey, look. Tell him, Bella. Obey the law, right? Ain't it right, Bella? Tell him. Obey the law. Obey the law, guys. All right? Obey the law. This right here is just an aid to help you out. This is Ty's Takes. I appreciate it. Rate, comment, subscribe. Appreciate the love, guys, for real. Thank you so much. And uh, more videos coming on the way, more stuff coming on the way. I got my RC stuff coming on the way, too, because uh, I'm getting ready to race again. And uh, so I'm going to go out there and I'm going to, you know, do some stuff for that. Anybody that's on my, just got through watching my PC stuff, you know, uh, I got some more videos coming for that, too, so. So anyway, I want to say peace out. Bella wants to say peace out. She's a beautiful pug, ain't she? I love this dog. And uh, love y'all. Thank you so much.